Hi friends, Mrs. Short again, here to read you a special story that I just got. I just ordered it from Amazon because it's a new book. And it's a book written by a teacher who teaches in a school not far from here. So you all know I was a teacher. Yes, yes, you've heard that many times. And I retired. And then I substituted. I was a substitute teacher at the school that this teacher, the book that she wrote, where she teaches now, I should say. And I was so impressed because I want to publish a book. And I did write some stories. So I reached out to her and she gave me some great advice. So I asked her if I could read this story on YouTube, and she said yes. So, without further ado, that means without me talking so much like I always do, I am going to read her story. And it's very new. It's called Sal the Snowball. And the author's name is Elizabeth De La Roca, and it's illustrated by Tulip Studio. So, Elizabeth De La Roca, Mrs. Short, always dedicates stories to people I know, to everyone watching, to classrooms, but I'm dedicating your book to you because you allowed me to share this on YouTube, on my channel. And I also read dedications that the authors write. So this is who Elizabeth de la Roca dedicated her story to. And it's very touching. This book is dedicated to my family and friends who have supported me in my creative passions and throughout my journey to write my first children's book. Special thanks to my husband, Eric, and to my parents, who inspire me every day. And I know, Elizabeth, that we'll meet soon. At least, I would love to meet you soon. All right, here we go. Sal the Snowball. Fix it so you can see it. There we go. Sal the Snowball was quite shy and often kept to himself. He quietly sat and peered outside over the top of his bookshelf. His friends would all say, come out and play. But Sal always said, no thanks, I'll stay. So inside his North Pole home he hid, wanting so badly to go out. There was just one problem that he had, and soon he started to part. I want to play, I really do, but I am not like the rest. I am not like those other snow people. I fear I am worthless. They are all so grand and mighty, standing really tall. Why am I not like them? I'm just a little ball. Sal was embarrassed and ashamed. For everything he tried, he just wasn't the same. Ice ball on the court was not much fun. He couldn't score a single basket. Not one. He used to love the relay races with everyone rolling fast. But lately, he always seemed to come in last. And the time he tried to rescue that snow cat in the tree, he couldn't reach it way up there. So another person, another snow person, set it free. Finally, one brave day, Sal got up and decided to venture out, meaning he just decided to go out there. Good for him, right? He thought, hmm, thought about the friends he missed and the times that they would all hang out. 
he headed out the door in search of someone who would play. And rolled on through the snow until Stan came his way. Stan, how'd you get to be so big and tall and grand? Stan replied, ah, it just took some time, my friend. When will that happen to me? And he said, you'll just have to wait and see. Onward, Sal went rolling in search of someone else. Soon he found his friend, Susie, eating ice cream by herself. Susie, how'd you get to be so big and tall and grand? Susie said, my dear Sal pal, it just took time, my friend. When will that happen to me? Susie said, you'll just have to wait and see. Starting to get annoyed with this answer, Sal kept rolling about, this time faster. Then he came to his friend, Stewie Steeze, who was taking a walk with his snow dog, Freeze. Stewie, how'd you get to be so big and tall and grand? Stewie whispered. It just took some time, my friend. When will that happen to me? He laughed and said, you'll just have to wait and see. Sal became frustrated. How much time would it take for him to be like everybody else? Then as fast as he could go, Sam rolled his way toward home. After all that happened today, he just wanted to be alone. Through his door he tried to roll, but then bumped his head on the very top hole. Ow! What's going on? I've never been this tall, never at all. Why, it seems to me a little snowball once before is now a snow person as tall as the door. I can't believe today was the day. It did just take some time. Hooray! I love my new self. I am so big and tall, but I fear I still might miss the times when I was just a little ball. Sal closed his eyes and thought hard about this. And then he flashed a smile so big, it was hard to miss. He realized that this was all part of life, changing as you grow. When the time is just right, your body will know. As you go through the days, you will get older and brighter, learning new things and remaining a fighter. It is okay to be different. Everyone is unique. Be kind to yourself and always be the best you can be. And the very next morning, Sal went off to play. He knew he was going to have the best day. And that leads us to the end. Wow. Elizabeth, you don't need to hear this from me, but this was amazing. It's an amazing story. 
my favorite. I love the whole book. And boys and girls, I'm talking to you too, not just to the author, was this page right here. You realize that this was all part of life changing as you grow. When the time is just right, your body will know. As you go through the days, you will get older and brighter, learning new things and remaining a fighter. It is okay to be different. Everyone is unique. Be kind to yourself and always be the best you can be. That is not only great advice for you boys and girls, it's great advice for everybody. I am no um, special person who judges books, but I give this two thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up. Excellent, excellent story, Elizabeth. I can't wait to meet you. Boys and girls, I hope you like this book. You can order it on Amazon. She did not tell me to say that. That was all me. I don't work for Amazon. I'm just saying it's so new that that's a place you can get it if you'd like to. We'll see you next time.